All right, so probably one of the easiest ways uh, to increase your testosterone naturally, and not only that, but balance your hormones in general, you know, balancing your, your uh, cortisol, your estrogen, um, everything involved with your HPG and HPA axes, uh, is to take note of your micronutrient balance and correct any underlying deficiencies. That really is uh, a very, very simple way because it's not talked about at all, which is a, is a crime because it's so simple and so natural to solve, but it's not talked about that the fact that most people are deficient in at least a handful of things, uh, you know, but different vitamins and minerals in the United States. And, and they did a, a wide scale study and found, you know, the following numbers people are deficient in, uh, you know, at least people, 35% of people are deficient in vitamin A, 31 in vitamin C, 67 in vitamin E, which is also very important for your hormones. Vitamin D, very important for your hormones. K, very impor important for your hormones. Choline, super important. 92% of people are deficient in it. Potassium, 100% of people are deficient in it, etc. So all these uh, deficiencies are extremely common. I guarantee you, you are deficient in a handful of things. And uh, you're going to feel better when you correct those deficiencies. And it's also something that's very inexpensive to, to correct, uh, whether you do it through changing your diet up, uh, increasing the amount of, of uh, certain nutrients that are in your diet, or uh, some strategic supplementation for a period of time to correct the deficiency. And typically that, that period of time is not very long. It can last just a couple weeks. And uh, you can correct the deficiency if, if you know what, uh, what you're deficient in. If you go to resetyourself.com slash test shock, uh, you can find a service that helps you to identify this. And that service is a mail order service, so they send you uh, all the stuff in the mail. And, it, and then you just send it back to them, and then they give you a login for a dashboard. So it, it's pretty easy. It's, it's really a cool service. So let's talk about uh, some of these key micronutrients that you need to pay attention to uh, for testosterone production. And just for hormonal balance in general and hormonal health. Uh, vitamin A is the first one. Vitamin A is actually stored in your testicles and uh, a couple other glands in the body. And uh, studies have shown that when there's no active vitamin A in the testes, your testosterone levels start dropping rapidly and estrogen synthesis shoots through the roof. There was a study of uh, 155 male twins, which uh, found a very glaringly clear correlation between uh, vitamin A levels and serum testosterone. And in pre-pubertal teens, uh, there's also uh, a study showing that vitamin A plus iron supplementation, so when you combine the two of those, is as effective as uh, uh, actually starting puberty on testosterone therapy. Um, or it's as effective in starting puberty as testosterone therapy. So um, the vitamin A plus the iron combo is super um, potent for testosterone. Now next up on the list is uh, B vitamins. And B vitamins are super um, important for lots of different things. I mean, all of these things are. Uh, they're all, the, th this is like the common base of fuel, raw materials of fuel in the, in the human body. But uh, B vitamins are uh, eight different water soluble vitamins. They uh, play a huge role in, in like basically ATP production, energy production in the body, but they also play a role in, in testosterone production. Uh, deficiency in B vitamins has been found to um, increase estrogen levels, increase prolactin levels, and lower testosterone levels. And here's some, uh, here's the one showing increased estrogen. Um, increased estrogen. Uh, in, I think this is increasing uh, prolactin and um, lower testosterone. Well, this might be the lower testosterone. Um, yeah, vitamin C is the next one. You want to make sure you have plenty of that. That one's typically pretty easy to get. However, that data we saw showed that a lot of people are deficient in it. Um, it does have a protective effect on the testosterone molecule. Uh, it, that's because it's a very potent antioxidant and it's able to block uh, cortisol secretion as well and, and lower oxidative damage. Uh, vitamin D, uh, I've done 
also, you know, if you want to know more about all this stuff in a lot of more detail, I've done videos on all these on this channel, so you can watch those individual videos. But vitamin D is actually a hormone. It's a steroid hormone. Um, if you There was a study that showed that uh, supplementing with 3,000 IUs for a year of vitamin D3 led to a 25% increase in testosterone production in healthy males. Uh, so that's pretty solid. There's also a lot of other research out there correlating D3 specifically with testosterone production. Uh, vitamin E, super important also. Uh, a lot of people are, I think it was back earlier in the video, was said 67% of people are deficient in vitamin E. Um, if you're deficient in vitamin E, you're going to see a large drop in LH production, FSH produ production in uh, in your pituitary gland, which those are the signaling molecule, the signaling hormones to your testes to produce testosterone. So you're also going to see a large drop in testosterone levels. Um, when you supplement with vitamin D, you're going to find that those that signaling increases, those hormones increase uh, in production, the LH and the FSH. Now magnesium is a, a very important mineral uh, slash you know salt. It's used for a lot of neurotransmission. Um, and in general, it has a direct effect on your serum testosterone levels. Uh, there was a study that showed that uh, 10 milligrams per kilogram of magnesium uh, was able to increase free testosterone levels by 24%. And, um, you know, just in general, there's a lot of research out there showing that it's correlative with testosterone. Uh, calcium is another one. It also is uh, very, very important for neurotransmission. Uh, it's typically something that a lot of people have. Uh, it's it's more common probably to have high high calcium levels, but there is still a subset of people that are deficient in it. Um, it's uh, it was found actually in 1976 to stimulate testosterone synthesis on uh, isolated Leydig cells, which Leydig cells are the cells that produce testosterone. Um, so it's. It's not as strong of a correlative uh, nutrient for testosterone, but it still plays an important role, especially in the neurotransmission in your nervous system. Uh, selenium, it stimulates glutathione production. It's very important for thyroid health, me metabolic rate, uh, everything you know related to your metabolism. Uh, it's also been linked to increased testosterone production and improved sperm parameters. So it, do it does help in general with a lot of hormonal biomarkers. And then zinc, uh, a ton of research out there correlating zinc with testosterone production, uh, increased free testosterone, lower estrogen. Um, it uh, you know, th There was a, st a study that found that zinc deficiency upregulated estrogen receptors by 57%. So um, you don't want to be deficient in zinc, that's for sure. And that's why we put zinc, magnesium, and boron, which I'm going to talk about here in a second, uh, in um, <clears throat> Testro X. They're very important. Now, boron's another one. It's uh, a very, it's a rare mineral. Uh, and because of that, people are, are deficient in it. Um, there's some really interesting studies showing very large increases in, in free testosterone. Uh, one of them showed uh, six milligrams a day. And we have 10 milligrams in, in the Testro X, but six milligrams a day saw an increase in uh, free testosterone of 29% over 60 days. Another human study of 10 milligrams of boron per day for seven days increased free testosterone by 28%, uh, lowered estrogen, uh, increased serum testosterone, and increased DHT by 10%. Uh, now there's a there's a study that, that everyone sees out there too that, that uh, talks about boron increasing uh, estrogen. Uh, the estrogen increase only came from in that study, uh, from a very massive increase in testosterone and free testosterone, and that's that start you know the men in that study, th that huge increase in their testosterone, um, they they weren't apparently you know there was no uh, anti aromatase action there, you know they weren't able to methylate the estrogen. So what they saw in those subjects was that it it increased their estrogen levels too. However, it wasn't that significant and they uh, had such a large increase in testosterone that it would offset any negative effects. And if you have a big increase in testosterone like that, and if, if your body is a bit out of whack in terms of methylating estrogen, um, 
then you can do things like take uh, choline, for example, very powerful met, uh, estrogen methylator. And it's also, you know, a very common deficiency. Like we saw 92% of people are deficient in choline. So you should be taking choline anyway. If you're not, if you're deficient in choline, that's where you're going to see some of this problem with es estrogen as well. So um, if you're taking boron, if it makes you feel more comfortable, take some choline with it as well. Because um, you'll see a, a pretty reliable increase in testosterone levels from boron. Now, the last one is manganese. Uh, this one, you d we want to make sure that you don't uh, overconsume manganese. That's why we don't really put it in supplements uh, that, that we have. Uh, it does stimulate GnRH production, which signals from your hypothalamus to your pituitary gland to produce LH and FSH. Uh, however, you don't want to go too high in it because uh, it can actually be like, you know, provide some kind of toxicity. It, it is a, a metal. Um, so yeah, these are the, the important minerals you need to pay attention to and uh, vitamins. And uh, they're all pretty, pretty uh, important for your hormonal health. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like it, definitely just subscribe to this channel. And I will keep on cranking out helpful videos. Also check out all the, the old videos that I've done. There's, there's a bunch of them. Thanks for watching.